amigos, my name's Rory McLean. How's everyone doing? I picked up my guitar last night when I should have been going to sleep, really, and ended up writing a load of riffs in Phrygian, which I used to write in all the time, haven't done for ages, and um, yeah, I thought they were kind of cool, so I thought I'd share them with you. Uh, anyone who follows me on Instagram will have had little teasers of these already, um, but I thought I'd go slightly more in depth, show you kind of the, the riffs in their entirety, give you an idea of kind of when they do develop into a full track, you, you'll have this as a reference to kind of see where they grew from. Um, I also, I woke up this morning and just carried on writing, came up with another sort of section or idea, so yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to share them with you, see what you guys think. So as a little bonus, I thought I'd walk you through that uh, last riff. It seemed to be the most favourite last night on Instagram so far. So uh, yeah, I'll show you how I'm playing that. So as always, I'm tuned down to drop C sharp. Uh, so if you want to play along, then you'll have to tune down. That first, the first bit is all based around a kind of minor um, chord shape. So I'm barring on the nine and then 12th fret on the D and 11th on the G. So the first part is a kind of boot gap. Uh, between the lower bar chord and then these high notes so then a trill on the ninth fret on the A down to the 12th fret on the D uh, and then that just repeats again so that played slowly is and then the second time round, once you get to this stage, uh, just after that last high chord, uh, I'm hitting the minus second uh, of the scale, which is the tenth fret on the D. So then it's exactly the same uh, right through until that last note, where instead of the minus second on the tenth fret, I go to the eighth fret on the A string as a kind of leading note down to the seventh for the next part. So really slowly that whole first section up until that next chord should sound like this. This next chord is kind of a um, augmented fourth shape. Um, so seventh on the A, eighth on the D, ninth on the G. Uh, same rhythm as last time, but you're using the 7th fret as your bass note, and then the AUG4 as the high chord, so... Then the trill in this one is between the 7th and 10th fret on the A string. Then from there I'm hammering on from the 9th fret to the 10th, back to the 7. So really slowly that will be... Then once I've got reached back to that uh, seventh note, I'm kind of stretching out between octaves, so fifth fret on the D and tenth fret on the A, and just climbing down chromatically. 
you could play that as single notes. Initially, when I first wrote it, I was going just on the uh, A string, 10, 9, 8. I kind of like the, the added low end of the full octave, though, so that's just how I'm playing it. Um, so up until that point, slowly, sounds like this. Then it repeats again, same as last time, the first um, chord. And then from there it's just a chromatic climb up with a kind of major third shape, so eighth on the A and seven on the D, and just climb up three notes. And then it repeats, so the whole thing played through solely is this. And if you play it up to speed, it should sound like this. So there we go, uh, let me know what you guys think of that, I just thought although these are kind of in development stage I'd share them with you, um, give you a little bit more to kind of see and hear than the short videos I put up on Instagram. I think at the, the rate that these have kind of come out and developed I'm going to have to put them into a full track soon and uh, can kind of hear the direction they're going in but thought I'd share where they're at now so you can hear where they get to I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope that was fun and you enjoyed. Uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a guitarist called Naya Izumi, who um, I ended up writing these tracks and then about three in the morning I eventually got into bed uh, but didn't sleep and ended up watching a Coffee and Refs video with Naya playing in and for I think she is the first guitarist I found in a long time where I was like, this is amazing, incredible playing, very unique style, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd give a shout out for her because I think you guys would probably enjoy her too. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'll overlay like a link or leave a link in the description so you can go and check her out. She's got a couple of EPs which are really cool. Um, and yeah, she's just a, a great guitarist, seems to be just starting out and um, definitely deserves the recognition. So uh, yeah, go and check her out. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these riffs and uh, I will see you soon. Peace out, I've been Rory.